You might notice a few of those white clouds around the vehicle. These are formed as the chilled gas above the LOX tank liquid surface vents overboard to maintain pressure inside of the tank. And when that cold gas contacts the warmer Florida air, it does condense the water in the air and it forms those clouds that you see on your screen. And this is a totally normal part of stage the- Stage one LOX load is complete. There we go, we just heard stage one LOX loading has finished. Should be wrapping up stage two in around 40 seconds or so. Weather looking really nice here in Florida, mostly clear skies. Teams not reporting any blockers to launch at this point. Now coming up next at T minus 60 seconds, Falcon 9 will enter the startup phase. And this means the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers have taken over control of the launch countdown. Should be wrapping up liquid oxygen loading on the second stage any second now. Stage two, lock load is complete. And there we go. With that call out, we are now fully loaded with RP-1 and liquid oxygen. So next up is startup. And then after startup, inside of T minus two seconds, we do light those Merlin M1D engines for liftoff. So far, the payload continues to be healthy. Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the rocket at this time. Should be gas launch closeout. There we go. Just sort of call it for uh, gas launch closeouts. We are now venting just the residual propellant in those TE lines. You can see some larger white clouds forming there off the side of the TE as we vent some of that propellant. Again, coming up at T minus 60 seconds, we will enter the startup phase. Falcon 9 is in startup. So with that, the Falcon 9's internal flight computers have now taken control of the launch countdown. We're just waiting for our final go from our launch director, and then we will be heading to space. Launch directors go for launch. Great news there. No blockers to lift off. We should be lifting off in just around 35 seconds. So let's listen in for that. T minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift off. Go to SpaceX. Go to Sirius XM. Two point pitching at range. Chamber pressures are nominal. T plus 30 seconds into flight. We're getting some beautiful views from the vehicle here. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Launch Complex 39A. You can see Kennedy's... Power and telemetry are nominal. Kennedy Space Center below the vehicle. And again, we are carrying SXM-9 to orbit today. As you might notice, the vehicle is tilting over horizontally. And this is- Falcon 9 is supersonic. This is a maneuver known as a gravity turn. Coming up on max Q here in just a couple seconds. Max Q. There we go, we just passed through that moment of max Q. As I mentioned earlier, we are starting to head horizontally away from the launch pad. We're still going up, but we're also going sideways, essentially. And as you heard previously, we did just pass through max Q, which is a critical moment in flight because the combined stresses caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through the atmosphere, back, as well as the ambient static pressure are at their greatest. And we did just hear that MVAC chill for ascent has begun. 
just cooling down some of those engine components further in preparation for full flow of liquid oxygen. You can track our progress to orbit here by keeping an eye on that stage one telemetry in the bottom corner of your screen. Getting a great tracking shot from the ground here. You can see we're going over 5,000 kilometers per hour. Getting a nice view of the rocket's plume as we head up to the thinner parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Coming up next, we have a series of events. Those are main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, second engine start one, uh, and then following that is fairing separation. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. In back ignition. And there we go. So what you just saw was the shutdown of the nine M1D engines, known as Miko. Following that, we separate the two stages, and then we do light the MBAC engine, which you're looking at now on your screen. Meanwhile, the first stage you can now see on the left side of your screen is going to flip its orientation in preparation to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere in an attempted landing on our drone ship out in the Atlantic Ocean. So as you can see with the MVAC engine lit on the right side of your screen, we're now accelerating our way into orbit. First stage on the left side of your screen is in a coast phase. Fairing separation confirmed. And there go those two fairing halves. We're now exposing the SXM9 payload to the vacuum of space. Stages are following nominal trajectories. Great news there, both stages are on their planned trajectory. You can see now in the telemetry for the first stage, we're starting to slow down as we reach the peak of the first stage's trajectory. You should start to see the altitude start to decrease as the vehicle heads back down towards Earth. Coming up next on the first stage is the entry burn. And for this burn, we do relight three of the M1D engines, starting with the center E9, followed shortly after that by the E1 and E5 engines. And this just slows the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere, reducing stress and improving our reusability on the vehicle. During this entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving really fast towards the Earth, and this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also sometimes called the plume. And this deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle's surface. So that's why you can see some of our flight-proven vehicles look a little extra toasty. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. So that entry burn should start in just around a minute from now and typically lasts around 20 seconds. And again, the second stage on the right side of your screen, continuing to head to orbit, now almost 13,000 kilometers per hour at an altitude of about 160 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. We can see the first stage is now accelerating towards the Earth. Its altitude is decreasing. You can see those grid fins on the left side of your screen. These help aerodynamically control the vehicle as it re-enters the atmosphere. So pay attention to those. You can see them sort of tilting and guiding the vehicle as we head towards the drone ship. Both stages continue to follow nominal trajectories. Great news there. Everything still looking good for both stages. Coming up shortly on that entry burn, so pay attention to the left side of your screen as well as that telemetry. Stage one, entry burn, startup. Stage one, FTS, saved. So we are now currently in the middle of the entry burn. You can see we are rapidly slowing down that first stage. Entry burn shut down. 
and there's the conclusion of that entry burn. And now, as I mentioned earlier, we perform this entry burn to slow the vehicle down and reduce the re-entry stresses, and this in turn increases our reusability of the vehicle. And of course, reusability is the key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, and that enables more investment into critical scientific research. The Falcon 9 first stage supporting today's mission has just performed that entry burn for the 19th time. The Merlins on this first stage are optimized for sea level, and they achieve about 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. The MVAC engine on the right side of your screen is optimized to operate in the vacuum of space, and that engine produces just around 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum. So we just heard stage two has entered terminal guidance, which means we are approaching the stage end of our one, transonic. Meanwhile, stage one has just gone below the speed of sound. We are now approaching the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere, getting ready for a landing on our drone ship. Second stage approaching its parking orbit. You can see those grid fins on the left now starting to help position the vehicle and guide it towards the ship. And stage one landing burn. Stage two FTS was saved. There we go. We just heard, just heard the landing burn has started on the first stage. And as you can see, we're just passing through the clouds now, and there is the drone ship waiting in the ocean below. Nominal orbit insertion. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. <laughs> 